the playoffs are here. Let's feature some of the super wild card round games one at a time. Let's start with the Miami Dolphins at the Kansas City Chiefs, the Saturday evening game. This is Dr. David Chow, Sports Injury Central, pro football doc here. For those of you who don't know, go through and check out these field views. We really detail everyone. It's not just fantasy football players. There's an overall health score, which Kansas City is 13 points healthier than the Miami Dolphins. They're healthier in offense, 91-1 versus 72.6 for the Dolphins defense. They're healthier in defense, 92 against Miami Dolphins, 84.8. We even break down the run offense against the run defense, as you can see here between the Chiefs and the Dolphins, and flip it the other way around for all of the matchups. Of course, during fantasy football season, this can be useful, but this is now playoff time. Let's take a look at the field views. For the Miami Dolphins on offense, all the attention has been on Raheem Mostert and Jalen Waddell. And to some extent, Tyreek Hill, he was seen in a boot from his high ankle sprain when he had to attend to the unfortunate fire at his home. Jalen Waddell, uh, with his ankle injury, we think there's a chance that he can play never believed it was high ankle. Mostert may have a chance to play, but the issue still, as you can see here at left guard and center, at least the Dolphins' right guard is now back. But if you flip to the other side here, the big issue for the Dolphins is on defense. We know, and the defensive issues are much more significant than the offensive issues for the Dolphins. We know Xavier Howard is out with his foot injury, but look at the linebacker core. Of the four linebackers in the 3-4, you see three red areas, but it's actually five different players that are out. We know Jalen Phillips was lost earlier this season to a, an Achilles rupture, and his backup, Andrew Van Ginkle, is now out with a foot injury. On the other edge rush side, Bradley Chubb is out uh, with an ACL tear. His backup got hurt yesterday, Cam Good, and now Melvin Ingram, who was a free agent late signee, is the main edge rush linebacker. He can still get after the quarterback a little bit, but in space may be a liability. And the new news is Jerome Baker just had wrist surgery. So the last man standing for the Dolphins is linebacker David Long, who is actually very, very good. But five different linebackers injured for the Miami Dolphins core, and that is the biggest injury area of clusters to watch. The Chiefs are relatively healthy, as you can see. Uh, Donovan Smith with his neck issues is questionable, but he has a reasonable backup. Jawan Taylor, the right tackle, often penalized, but should be able to be healthy and play. And of course, at free safety, the Chiefs are missing Brian Cook with a left ankle fracture dislocation. So really only one player on each side of the ball for the Chiefs are out with multiple players with issues in the Dolphins. Thus, the Kansas City Chiefs are definitely the healthier side as they host this now faltering Miami Dolphins. And that linebacker core is going to be a key here in this game. This is Dr. David Chow. Go to sportsinjurycentralsicscore.com to see the field views for yourself and all of the latest.